TriCitiesNights.com. Rock the Mopar event at Thunder Valley this weekend. Celebrating everything Mopar. The two biggest stars on hand was the General Lee and... Rush! Fans got an opportunity of a lifetime to ride in the General Lee around the world famous Bristol Motor Speedway. We sent our fearless cameraman Earl the Pearl Jenkins into the mouth of the beast known as the world's fastest half mile. Oh Lord! That felt good. That's a dream right there, driving that car. No, a dream is even to have one of those, but that's a start right there. That was awesome. That was crazy. I mean, I loved every second of it. I mean, it's, it's a rush riding around that place. Actor James Best sat down with us to talk about memories and his new book, Best in Hollywood. I've been wanting to write it, oh, for many years, and I want to leave it as a legacy to my family and to my fans and to my friends. Oh, not rush. Go be cold train. He wouldn't let his little fat buddy down. All right. <laughs> Playing the sheriff with with Boss Hog, uh, we were sort of the Laurel and Hardy of this day and age, you know. Uh, I did not want to play a crooked sheriff, so I said, "What I will do in the show is I will portray him as a 12-year-old who likes hot pursuit." Yeah. <laughs> and so I did what I did with my girls when they were little. I go, "Go get go, go and I get you, little." Well, I went in and on the interview and did that, and they fell off the couch, and they signed me. Dishes. This is Velvet Ears. I called her Velvet Ears. Got her out of a dog pound when she was seven. She lived to be 14 years old. I had her own trainer, uh, trained her for whatever I needed to do in the movie or in the show. And she'd do anything for an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> and I had a, uh, a dummy dog made up, looked like Flash. We called her Flush to ride with me because I, I rolled that sucker I didn't want to hurt that dog yeah. you know I love that and that's how TriCitiesNights.com does it bringing you cars and stars I'm MC Nut done